Okay, so here's a list of things you'll need. One polypropylene container, uh, which is airtight. Some kitchen towel. Uh, rubber gloves. Some tin foil. And of course the acetone itself. And the print. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, normally we'll be doing this outside um, because the acetone vapors are quite harmful. Um, but for the purposes of filming today, we'll actually be doing it indoors. Um, the first thing we need to do is just fold up the kitchen towel to the right size of the container. Okay, so the next thing to do is to soak the kitchen towel. Uh, we're going to fold it up just so it's over the size of the um, acetone lid. We'll soak the kitchen towel twice over just to ensure that we've got enough acetone and then we'll quickly seal the container back up again. Okay the next thing to do is to add some uh, kitchen foil to the bottom of the container and this will just protect our print from any acetone liquid that might build up at the bottom of the container. Now all we need to do is place the print in the container. This is our company mascot Dreamo. Uh, it was printed in ZABS on the Zortrax M200. Um, it's got a really nice matte finish as it is, but we're hoping to get a nice high gloss finish with the acetone vapors. So that's been about an hour now. We'll remove the lid and then we'll also remove the soaked kitchen towel and just allow the print to breathe. And here's the final result. As you can see, the finish is fantastic and, and we can barely recognize it as a 3D print. Here are some other fantastic prints we've treated with acetone vapors. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe. Also, come follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. You can find out more about our products and services by visiting dream3d.co.uk.